over here with Nordic Daughter with some cheesy Viking shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the props, guys. <laughs> What is up, everybody? We're back today with the Lycan Brothers from Nordic Daughter. We're trying some mother flipping George Dickel 17 year, man. Compliments of Mr. Lycan. Mr. Lycan himself, straight from the distillery, too. Let's get into it. You want to pop the cork? Yeah. Oh, baby. Now, if you've, you know, if you're, if you're within that circle, you'll know that George Dickel is one of the whiskeys slash bourbons that got us into this whole thing to begin with a few years ago so here we go Ooh. oh just like when you lost your virginity <laughs> yeah, that smoke the oh there is a little bit of smoke all this anticipation for a little <laughs> <laughs> all right man this is some extremely special whiskey for us it's coming in at 46 percent abv 92 proof Straight from Cascade Hollow, Tennessee, man. These boys went and picked it up from the distillery just uh, last week. I'm excited. Let's oh, get yeah. these mini pours happening. Mini pours? In these lovely Metalhead Whiskey <laughs> Snobs by Graham. <laughs> Cups that will be for sale. Sooner or later, you will have a link to buy one. Oh, goodness, boys. <sighs> Get some Just noses stuck into that. these glasses. Ugh. Color this. Mm. <laughs> oh, you can tell that's smooth right off the bat. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so. So, so I want to say this is probably the oldest whiskey we have had to date. Correct. We've had a 15-year whiskey. We have not had a 17-year or above. Mm -hmm. We got some on the shelf that are 18 years, but we actually have not cracked nor tried them yet. So this is. A, n a next level thing for us in, in a lot of ways. Oh, oh my goodness! Heavy, I'm, heavy getting, open, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting some, some, some grapes on that. Grapes. Some smells like orange. Oh, it's a little so bit good. of citrus orange. Right, it is a little citrusy. Oaky. Yeah, that buttery. Oh. That barrel is just shining. With the oh oak yeah, I'm kind of over the top of it. Wow. Well, boys, that's well, potpourri right there. I appreciate you all. <laughs> Let's have a good episode. Hell yeah! Cheers. Cheers. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding so me right now? It doesn't get smoother than that, man. Holy Ooh. shit. Come on, man. That is wow. some yummy, yummy, yummy Dude, whiskey. and like the mouthfeel on mm -hmm. it is thick like syrupy, like pancake syrup. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good Amazing. Lord, man. That's dangerous. I definitely taste <laughs> yeah, the oak. Get in trouble with that, yeah, man. Dude. Heavy butterscotch oh maple. <clears throat> a little leather on the back. It tastes end. like a schoolboy whipping. Mm. <laughs> leather straps. <laughs> very, Ooh. very, very, very mm. oaky, man. You know what those are like, right? Mm -hmm. We had fun one night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things you didn't know. It's got mm. that butterscotch to it. Well, I can taste the butterscotch on the back end <gasps> now. And this is going to open up over the next few minutes, too, so. But it's, oh, my goodness. Let that sit. Next sit. level, indeed. Mm. So what you guys got going on with Nordic Daughter? Yeah, man, let's talk about the band a little bit. How long you guys been around for, and uh, give us a little bit of history behind it. Well, uh, my wife, Melissa, and I started it back in uh, 2016. It started as just a duo project where we were just writing some songs together, and... We finally got enough music together that we ended up going into the studio and started recording and started recruiting some people. And uh, we ended up finding a, a virtuoso uh, violin player, Mia Asano. A lot of people know who she is now. She's quite famous at this point. Nice. TikTok sensation, you know. <laughs> but she uh, ended up uh, working on the first two albums with us, and, and we really... Um, design the sound you know together uh, basically over you know the course of about three years and toured a couple times out on the west coast with Mia yes, sir. and um, and then you know the pandemic hit and you know everything shut down for a while and you know it was kind of hard to get through that just like it was for most musicians but um, 
we had a wonderful year this year. We played lots of great festivals and lots of big events. Um, and uh, we went in the st studio, uh, finished recording our third album, and that's going to be out here in the spring. We've got a, a, a Christmas uh, Viking Candle Mass uh, show that we put together. It's actually sold out up in Idaho Springs. Nice, here. man. Next week. Yeah. Next, Next week, week actually. Yeah. Dude. yeah. Right yeah, I, I wish I could invite you guys, but it already sold out. It sold, so, sold out so quick, man. You mentioned you know? Viking stuff, so you said it sounds more Viking or Celtic or... Yeah, it's um, Nordic, Viking, Celtic, you know, like... But we're also, um, you know, putting a few traditional uh, Christmas songs in there. But the cool thing about it is we're actually kind of talking about the origins of, of Christmas and the Christmas tree and like and and stories that go older than Santa Claus back Gosh. to old Norse myth mythology and things right. like and that. And lost tales and stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Some cool. really cool, cool like old mythology and, and we're kinda incorporating that with, you know, some some Christmas music and, and uh, some some cool poems and, and, and traditional stuff that you might be more familiar with as well and, and just kinda <clears throat> in, intermingling the two and, and kind of saying, okay, well, you, everybody knows this, but this is kind of where it started. This is where the foundations of all that those traditions come from. Cool, you man. know, hell yeah! So, nice. so cool. you're you're, uh, you're predominantly uh, guitar and backup vocals. Correct. Cool, yeah. Man. Yep. What about you, Chris? What you, what's your role? I, I play drums and uh, percussions in uh, in or kind of in a revolving position, right? Right. Right. Yeah, right. Man. Yep. Yep. It's been lots of fun That's playing cool. lots of festivals. It's been amazing that's what's all here melissa's yeah. your vocalist your wife yeah my wife melissa she's got a beautiful voice if you haven't heard her yet you know you'll Are have you to biased or uh <laughs> no i'm not uh, other people seem to think the same so i you know i think maybe i'm biased but i think there's a lot of people who would agree that sh her voice is just you know it's it it's, fits the style yeah, it's definitely beautiful. I, I i went to one of the little festivals you guys played so Feel free to kick him in the nuts at any point. <laughs> <laughs> I might get excited. <laughs> kick me in the cubes. So what's some of your favorite shows and events that you've done so far in the, in the band's career? Um, well, we, we played a, a sold out show at the Buffalo Rose and uh, we opened up for Lita Ford. And the energy of that show was just insane, That's man. Like, yeah. it was incredible. I mean, you oh. guys do have uh, some good rock infusion in there, man. We I do. Mean, we, we rock, you know, like, but we can also tone it down and, and, and get more intimate and more emotional with our music, which is why I think what people like about, you know, what we do is we're not just kind of one style. We kind of do, we, we bring a lot of different styles together. It's, you know, it's hard to even describe what our music is. So from what I've seen, you guys could do either just a duo acoustic. Yep. Or a couple members or a full blown band. With yeah, like, we what, do it seven, all the time people. where it'll just be me and my wife, or maybe me and my wife and a violin player, or we'll, we'll bring him in and just do, per, you know, a little bit of tom or percussion. Yeah, yeah some acoustic. Or, you know, or like the Elitch's gig we played this year where we had a full seven piece keyboards, violin, bass player. You that know, one looked awesome. We had man. two drummers, you know, like. That was the um, Halloween nights, right? It was, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> For which, Witch Fest. Fest. That, which was. Totally awesome, great show for That's us this year. Hopefully so you'll get invited back on the regular. I, that yeah, one. you know, we definitely built a good relationship with them, so I hope they That's invite awesome, us back. Dude. But yeah, oh, yeah and man. want to thank you guys for inviting me on the show today. Well, definitely, yeah. thank you very much. Nice yeah. you guys on Thanks, Mister. Uh, like in there for oh, some fine some whiskey. Oh yeah. Oh, I think I just smell it all night. Mm. Oh, there's some caramel that's opened up in that mm. maple butterscotch. Oh, that's a. <sighs> I mean, you know, it's only a 92 proof, so it's not, it says, I believe, cast strength. I think that's just Nicole's sense of humor. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but 92 is not necessarily known to be cast strength, but I'll tell you what, it packs a punch in every other level to where you would think it is far beyond 100 proof whiskey. Not a big fan of it. Big, big fan. Oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, good, man. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, let's talk about some more of your upcoming events that you got going on here. Well, um, the next show that you could actually attend that's not sold out is um, Halfway to Renfest, which is January 7th at uh, Cheers up in Thornton. Yep. So, um, and we're going to be playing with Celtic Legacy, which those guys, if you haven't seen them yet, they're amazing. World renowned. Yeah, those guys are awesome. They always do the, Ren the yeah. Renaissance festivals and stuff like that. And so. Um, super excited to play with those guys. And then we're going to be playing um, 
uh, our, our next big one is uh, is Beltane is actually um, April 29th is going to be down at the X Loon or Entero Music Hall um, and that's going to be a, a festival type of deal where you can come down you can get ruins read for you, you can get your tarot cards read, you can buy some crystals and and we're going to have some traditional like Hardinger fiddle player playing like you know it's a good time to, to dress up whether you like dressing medieval or, or Viking or, or Renaissance or, or whatever it is or you know you, you just want to dress up as a, a jester or something you can you can really just let loose and and you know uh, Halloween isn't the only time of year you can go and just you know, play the part and, ha and let loose and, true, and, if it's what and, you enjoy and create your avatar, yeah. you know what I mean? So, Absolutely. yeah. Some like, people yeah. celebrate Halloween year around. Exactly, right, so, right. I mean, yeah, you know. Same thing. And yeah. a lot of people love the chance to be able to dress up and be a part of something like that. And then there's the, the other uh, part of our fan base that really loves the old traditions, the pagan traditions, the Viking traditions, the Nordic and Scandinavian society, you know, yeah, those man. type of things that, you know, people just, they love learning about <coughs> the ancient culture and the way people used to think about the world you know so that being said and all like what would you say is some things that you do to, uh, you know with crowd participation and stuff what do you do to involve uh, you know, drum circles we, yeah we we that? we definitely have gotten drum circles going where we just invite anybody to come up and be a part of it because everybody's got rhythm whether you realize it or not you know what i mean and and it's actually uh, you know except for this one uh, <laughs> um if if you just let yourself, you know, go a little bit, you'd be surprised about how well you could just have a rhythm and be a part of a, a, a drum circle and feel inclusive in, in making music, you know, like spontaneous in the moment. Definitely. So yeah, we're looking forward to next year. Thanks, um, <laughs> we're actually uh, heading up to Alaska for a small tour next summer, which awesome. is really exciting. We're going to play in the North Pole. We're also Alaska? we're going to play the uh, the Alaskan State Fair. And, you said uh, North Pole. North Pole, Alaska, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a town, yeah. it's not the actual North Pole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I mean, move over Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing the North Pole. Well, I'm just glad we're going at the end of August. And All right. Right. You guys got any videos out? Yeah, um, we haven't released one in a while, but the last one we put out was Blind Us, right? And uh, that was from our second album. But here in the spring, we're going to uh, be doing some more videos as well as we release our third album. So. And that video up on YouTube? It is. It's up on All YouTube. Right. You can find Nordic Daughter stuff. We uh, Nordic Daughter nordicdaughter.com is where you find all of our stuff there's links to everything on there but we're also on social media facebook uh, instagram tiktok things like that so. Mm -hmm. so we'll leave a link to your video down there and in the description of that and yeah cool. man cool hell yeah we're wrapping this episode up is there anything else you guys want to say to the world and get it out there for the camera and oh, all the viewers? Mostly, out there? I just want to thank all abuse. Thank my older brother here for cracking open this seventeen-year-old. Oh yeah, year old yeah. Dickle, man. instant like, top five whiskey. Wow, I mean, instant top How five. smooth is this? And and thank you guys for having me on and 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 showcasing yep, North Thank Daughter. you very much. This oh, is we Tennessee's you. Pappy right here, man. Oh yeah, this is Tennessee's Pappy. I mean, Absolutely. if you ever have a chance to try this, oh, yeah. you can't oh, go wrong. Can't man. go wrong. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Like I said, if you want to do a serious one, we could do like some cartoon after editing or something with some stupid Viking shit. Cool. That should be good. Stupid okay. Viking shit. You know, you know what I mean? Like, do 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 do. You know, you know, cartoony Viking shit. <laughs>